Hey guys, how are you doing? Graham here. It is Saturday morning here and I'm having a morning cup of coffee at Panera Bread. I thought I'd do one of my Coffee with Graham videos whilst the weather's supposed to be really warm today. But I actually have a busy day. I have a Zoom call this morning and then a couple of meetings in the morning and then some jobs to do. But I wanted to say hi and just blessings. So what's going on in my life? Uh, Leah and the kids kids have been away a couple of weeks now so I'm at home alone with Aggie the dog and uh, just actually using this summer to catch up on a bunch of jobs uh, jobs in-house you know website jobs but actually internal jobs as well it's great to have some seasons where you back away from life a little bit and recalibrate with the Lord and let go of some baggage sometimes physical baggage and also just reposition reposture recalibrate with Jesus for the season to come. So I'm having a really great season. I felt the Lord say to me that if I did what he wanted me to this summer, I would see five years. It's like I could see five years worth of growth in three months. So I want to take a hold of that promise and do my part in that. Good. Um, well, that's my day today. Doing a bunch of things at home and uh, working on some new websites. Um, Tomorrow I'm going to be speaking, have a really great message, encourage you to uh, join us live if you can at 10 a.m. in Sturbridge Worship Centre or we'll be going live probably around about 11 a.m. But I'm going to be speaking tomorrow about favour for relationships, about how to find supernatural favour. You know, the bottom line is the fav when the favour of God is upon you, people like you. When the favor of God is upon you, people are well disposed towards you. And so often we're trying to, it's like we're trying to run or manage our relationships based on our gifting or our intelligence or our sense of what should or shouldn't happen. And I believe God has kingdom grace for relationships. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to, um, how to connect, how to bring the grace of God, how to build grace-filled relationships. Because every one of us need those and you will more and more. Good. Hey, uh, here's a quick thought as well, something I've been thinking and just dreaming with God about all week. Um, you know, it's really interesting, but I, I have a sense at times that there's so much more God wants to do in the church and so much more that God wants to do through the church before this gig is over, before Jesus returns. And I know it's in one way, I think the easy way in Christianity is to look at the world and think everything's rotten and God wants us to get us out of here. Amen, in a sense, to that. But I believe, part of me believes we haven't begun to scratch the surface of all that God really wants to do in us and through us. And I've been thinking this week about thinking. I've been thinking this week about dreaming. And, you know, it's interesting. I don't say this, forgive me if this sounds critical, but uh, I think at times the church is so cliched or so shallow. And it's like we find our own streams our own pools that we bathe in you know we're part of this group and that group and we're reformed and we're charismatic or whatever but after a while it's like you've heard everything that that group has to say it's like you hear the same messages regurgitated and i believe god wants i know that might sound foolish or even um, weird in some cultures to say that i think god wants christian intellectuals i think god wants people who know him who know who they are in Christ, who know the promises of the word, but will actually think some great thoughts. Sometimes it takes thinkers in a society to move society forward. And I believe God wants Christian thinkers, Christian dreamers, people who'll challenge. I think one of the challenges I would say right now, this is worse in the world than it is in the church, but it's still bad in the church, is we need to have conversations. Um, I don't mean, conflict resolution conversations. I mean actually exploratory conversations. We need at times a place of maturity that God's bringing us to where we can say, if this is true, if this is true, if this is true, what could that mean? What could that, what could that produce? Where could that go? You know, there are times and seasons in history and sadly it's often out of disaster. You know, the world changes when we come out of some of these world wars. Out of the First World War, a lot of people rethought life. Out of the Second World War, people were doing life differently. Uh, I think in one way, coming out of this COVID situation, a lot of people are going to be looking at their lives, their work. 
a lot of people I know are moving or, uh, you know, I know people in a professional workspace who are thinking um, it doesn't matter if this virus disappears, we're never going to go back and do things the way they were before. And <clears throat> it takes no discernment whatsoever to know that there is dysfunction in the way we do church. I'm not interested in anybody saying that. What I'm interested in is what are your dreams? What are your solutions? What are your answers to that? And I am interested in walking with thinkers. I'm interested in exploring thinkers and dreamers. I think there are books that need to be written and new thoughts to be engaged with. So I encourage you, this is true. You know, I think God's got worldwide thoughts and thinkers he wants to have, but he also wants us to think about our lives. He wants us to think about our marriages, our children, our health, our finances, and to dream and to say, what if, what if God could break all the rules? What if he could suddenly make some of the things easy? What if some of the things we've, are we living with ceilings we've had for a while where we thought, hey, this could never be done, that could never be done. And what if God is saying to you and I right now, sure it can. Go to new places, do new things, explore new places, think new thoughts. So that is my uh, encouragement to you today. And uh, drop me a line, let me know what you are thinking this day. And I'm going to try to be back uh, most days with a video here. Boom. Watch you guys. Thanks for watching and share this with somebody. Drop me a line, let me know how I can pray and be a blessing to you. Bye for now.